Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. So just a reminder that the Joe and Joe Weather Show is this morning at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So we can go over the gloom and doom of the last several days and uh, the hope for some improvement, fingers crossed, uh, coming in, uh, coming ahead. So let's take a look at what's going on. The one thing I'm paying close attention to is if you take a look at the satellite loop is the fact that if you go up to the northwest and really not that far, relatively speaking, north and west of the coast, uh, go into north central PA to the western Catskills this morning and then uh, going north and east into upstate New York from there up north and west. It's clear. I mean, it's weather's nice. And in fact, it's going to be warming up faster there because they've had they didn't get any into any of the stuff that we've seen here along the coast. However, we still have another day to get through here. And if you notice, the cloud rotation along the coast is still there. We have the low pressure system at the surface. We have the upper air low. It's not really moving. What we're waiting for is a slow drift southward to occur. And once that happens, that'll tell us that the dry air from the north will start to come in. I, I've been guarded about Mon forget about today. I've been guarded about Monday because of the fact that we have this onshore flow and we still probably will have a lot of leftover clouds around. But I think there's a shot here that we could see some of that dry air come in as the day goes on. And if it pay, hey, if it starts to drop down southward a little bit faster, all the better. In the meantime, it's going to take a while, but there are signs that we're going to start to see things in the atmosphere start to move again from west to east across the country. And that's good because that'll keep us out of uh, any kind of uh, blocking situation from coming back anytime soon. And it is possible. I mean, we're still not even into mid-May yet, uh, but we've seen this sorts of stuff happen well into the month of June. So it's, it's not impossible that we're, it, it could happen again. The rain has been slowly drying up during the overnight. We still have some patches of showers. Most of it is on the light side. You can see there are a few heavier bands out in the ocean. And they're kind of arcing back westward now because of the counterclockwise circulation. The sharp cutoff north and west exists as well. So if from, say, northwest New Jersey, eastern Pennsylvania on north and west, you probably won't see much uh, of rain, at, or if any at all. Uh, it's going to be more for the coastal areas. Meanwhile, we have what's left of showers and thunderstorms and some overnight uh, weather moving through the northern plains, and that is the job of the Storm Prediction Center as we take a look at the risk area uh, for today, and that is in the northern plains, also a small area, a very small area in north-central Texas, both under a marginal risk. We have uh, it moving eastward into the western lakes, and upper Mississippi Valley for uh, Monday into Tuesday with a small area of slight risk. And then as we take a look at Tuesday into Wednesday, the risk returns back into western parts of Texas. As far as rainfall is concerned, take a look at WPC's rainfall forecast map in the northeast. Now, whatever you see here in the light green is barely uh, – this is from – uh, by the way, this is from 8 a.m. this morning until 8, uh, uh, 8 a.m. next Sunday morning. Uh, ba no, pr barely any precip being indicated. So uh, they for the entire week across much of of New England uh, down into uh, New Jersey. In fact, you have to really get down into Virginia, North Carolina before you start to get into the half inch inch stuff. And uh, quite a bit of rain in the northern plains. Uh, we see it continue to be bone dry in the southwest uh, where we don't expect anything uh, of uh, consequence as far as rainfall is concerned is that those very dry conditions there continue. So uh, looking at uh, the latest run of the GFS, this is what's happening. And we have this upper low <clears throat> off the east coast. You see it here. Uh, this was yesterday, moving off the mid-Atlantic coast, just kind of sitting there uh, <clears throat> to this evening. We have easterly winds in the upper atmosphere. We got to get those winds to turn more northeast, which they do. Uh, and uh, by uh, later tomorrow, we start to get into more of a northeast flow aloft. And that's the drier air. Also notice, by the way, big upper ridge building here. Big, strong upper ridge building up into eastern Canada. So these areas up here 
in the northern lakes and upstate New York and into southeastern Canada are going to see well above normal temperatures. Uh, the issue here down the coast is the fact that we're going to be dealing with some winds off the ocean for a good part of this week. So it's going to be a little hard uh, to warm up. It's going to take uh, a longer period of time. We're still under the influence of that upper low through Wednesday and into Thursday. But then the ridge starts to come over the top. And I think it bodes well. Eventually, what happens, if you look at the upper flow, is that the upper low off the East Coast opens up in the Southeast and starts to get involved with troughs that are moving in from the West. And things are starting to move from West to East again. The pattern becomes progressive. And that's a good thing, because then we can't get stuck uh, in this kind of nonsense like we just saw uh, here in the Northeast and from Southern New England anyway, down into the Mid-Atlantic state. So let's take a look at what it looks like on the surface map. And uh, you'll notice, just run it back, uh, and uh, we'll uh, start from today. And you'll see that low uh, spinning away. Again, pulling that precip uh, as it starts, the low starts to drop southward, the precip drops southward, the high starts to build in from the north. Uh, I'm thinking that... Will probably be gloom and doom today with lots of, you know, at, at least cloudy, even if the rain does wind up stopping where you are. And then a slow improvement tonight, slow improvement tomorrow. Let's call tomorrow cloudy to partly sunny. If it dries up faster, we could be maybe partly to mostly sunny with a little bit of luck. Further north and west you go, I think the better chance you have for seeing mostly sunny skies tomorrow uh, and temperatures that will probably bounce back into the 60s. We still have a northeast wind all week, so that's going to keep things from warming up too fast. Uh, and uh, that takes us right into Thursday. The high is actually overhead, so we have a chance maybe by Thursday uh, to get into a better wind and even warmer temperatures. And then Friday, uh, we'll probably hold on to some of that uh, uh, dry air and some sunshine, even though there's a little bit moisture that starts to come back with maybe some showers around next week. And you see there's another storm there dropping down uh, into uh, the middle Mississippi Valley by next sun late, late, late next Sunday. And then that'll be moving along to the east uh, beyond that. So look, the upside is after what we had this weekend, at least it is going to be Nice uh, and uh, rain-free for probably Monday right through Friday. All right, folks, that's Weather in 5 for today. Have a great Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. And don't forget, Joe and Joe Weather Show at 11 a.m. Eastern time today. See you later.